Hey guys, um, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I've been in love with these inks by Pilot for a while and my mom was super nice and um, surprised me with a couple colors. The inks are called Iroshizuku. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but they're made by Pilot. And they're these really cool Japanese inks. Um, and if you've ever seen the packaging, you know the hype about them. <laughs> they're so beautiful. And um, I'll just show you. Oh my god. Look at this beauty. It is like so freaking beautiful. I'm excited to see how it shows up on paper because it could be more light or it could be more, more deep. I'm excited. She also got me this wicked cool light orange citrusy color. And then she got me this blue, which I think at least from what I've seen, I've seen a lot of people talking about this color. It's a very um, popular color to write with um, to fill fountain pens. So I think that's the intended use of these is to fill fountain pens, but I'm going to be using dip pens. She is the sweetest ever. So I just like mentioned her in passing how much I love these things and she's a fucking queen. So she got me this little sample of blue inks. I didn't even know they came in um, small sizes like this. Do you see that? See how beautiful that is? I'm obsessed with like little packaging, like just like little things that they all fit in there and like packaging. I just, oh, it's all part of the experience for me. I absolutely love stuff like that. But yeah, I'm really excited to try these. Uh, I've always wanted to try these inks. I've heard a lot about them. Um, so let's get drawing. Today I'm using a Browser 361 Stena Blue Pumpkin Calligraphy Pen Nib. And to hold it, I'm using a Browser Ergonomic Calligraphy Nib Holder. Except I hold my pen really weird, so I didn't find it very ergonomic. <laughs> so later I'm going to switch it to an E&M Gemini Nib Holder. I'm dipping it into this beautiful medium to dark blue ink by Iroshizuku, which is made by Pilot. And this ink is called Kanpeki. The Iroshizuku line of fountain pen inks by Pilot are so goddamn beautiful. <laughs> so they're all inspired by nature, and there's 24 beautiful colors that are all inspired by the seasons and landscapes of Japan. The name Irishizuku means droplets of color. And it is really, truly beautiful, um, this range of inks. And so many of them have... Uh, I'm not really familiar with, um, like, fountain pen inks, but they have this beautiful gradient. I'm not sure about the terminology, but depending on how much ink you lay on the paper, there's different gradients of color. Um, that show up. This ink specifically, Kanpeki, is this beautiful blue. It's a lighter blue, almost a sky blue, not nearly so light, but a lighter blue when there's less ink on the paper. But when there's a lot of ink on the paper, it's a really rich blue. And when there's a lot, a lot of ink on the paper, it has this gorgeous, like shimmery magenta red color um, when it dries down. So you'll have to wait for it to dry fully to see that um, magenta red sheen on just touches on like some rims of the area of like a dark, dark area of ink. And it's really cool to see the colors kind of shift and change as you um, wait for your piece to dry. So it is a little magical. So I just did a little bit of Googling um, and I figured out that this weird metallic shift, it's called Sheen. And I'll just read this little blurb about what Sheen is. So Sheen is caused by dye or pigment crystals forming on the surface of the paper instead of absorbing into the fibers. As with shading, so... That's actually what that gradient is called, shading. Pen and paper are a huge factor in whether or not you experience sheen. 
Not all inks are prone to sheening, and when, and even the ones that do sheen will only do so if it isn't fully absorbed into the paper. That is something I noticed. When I use different papers, it definitely affects whether or not the sheen shows up and how much it shows up. Which is pretty cool. You can have the best of both worlds. Uh, it continues on to say, so naturally less absorbent papers and wetter pens are better if you want to get as much sheen as possible. Pilot describes this ink as a deep azure, which is a slightly turquoise-leaning blue that shades from bright sky blue to deep sapphire. Each one of these bottles of ink, the 50 milliliter ones, um, retail for about like $25, but I've seen them like discounted for like 15 some places. Um, I'd say they're definitely worth $25. Um, not only is the ink absolutely beautiful and very unique, but the packaging also goes that extra mile, like... I absolutely am obsessed with it. It's so heavy. Like, these things are heavy. They're beautiful on your desk. You can tell they're really crafted, like, just in a beautiful and artistic way. They have that little ribbon that goes around the top. And, yeah, I'd definitely say they're worth it. But also, if you're looking to try these, and $25 sounds like, a deep plunge to take for just one bottle of ink. They have um, sets of three that go for about 29 I'm pretty sure. And they have like three different colors. I got one that had three different blues, but I've seen like multicolor ones too. And that is a really freaking good deal to like test the waters and see what colors you like. And even then, it's a good amount of ink in the little trial sizes, 15 milliliters. Like, I don't think I'm going to run out of those anytime soon. So for this drawing, I've just been drawing for imagination and drawing kind of whatever comes to mind. And definitely what came out was kind of inspired by this recent drawing that I did called 3AM. And it's riffing off that idea of just kind of showing the inside workings, the inner workings of the body. Um, just like, but in a kind of fantastical way, like imagining what would be inside somebody's body, but like inspired by anatomy, but not exactly anatomy. That's a common theme in my art sometimes. <laughs> like... Um, trying to imagine, uh, what a physical manifestation of a certain emotion or feeling or thought would look like, trying to invoke that and hopefully, um, people can relate to it and also hopefully people think it looks cool. <laughs> so now I'm going in with the speedball pen point nib number 100 artist which I have used in the past, and I'm a fan, I gotta say. It's a little scratchy, but definitely, like, a really fun and easy nib to use if you're thinking about getting into dip pen drawing or writing. The Speedball number 100 artist is definitely a really good and incredibly cheap nib to start with like I'm talking like it's like $1.99 so I'm going in there with Yuyake Yuyake which is this beautiful orange ink from the Irazuku line Irazuku um I'm just going in there and adding some little cloudies I've also been a big fan of that blue and orange, orange and teal look, you know, that like cinematic look that everything has recently. Um, and since I got this new camera, I was learning a bit about color grading and learning about how much orange and teal has been popular in movies recently. And so I was really inspired to do that, especially by Umbrella Academy, the second season, if 
anybody has watched it, hit me up. I want to talk about it. Um, I'm literally obsessed with that show and I binge watched it in like a week, the first and second season. So this was inspired by the second season's color palette as I was drawing because I was watching that show. And I just love how the blue and orange looks together. It's like the ultimate contrast. I love it. Also, if you're wondering, I'm using the speedball number 104 pen nib holder for the speedball nib. Something interesting to keep in mind. Also, sorry there, my camera died. So I drew that hand, but it didn't record. Um, something interesting to keep in mind that I didn't really realize for some reason. Um, I guess because I use different kind of inks usually. But the application of the ink on the paper was definitely affected by the oils from my fingers having touched the page underneath. So the lower I would get drawing down the page, um, the harder it was to lay down an even line because I had put my right hand there to steady the paper and the oils, from, like the natural oils from my hand had, um, I don't know, it just like it, it couldn't lay the ink down. I think it has to do with dip pens and, you know, all that. They are very finicky, so... You're not supposed to get, like, your hand oils on the nib either, so just keep that in mind. Maybe put a sheet of paper down or wear cloth glove or maybe just don't touch the page like I am. So now I'm using beautiful, beautiful Ama Iro, uh, which might be my favorite ink right now that I got. Um... It's one of the little sample blues I got, and it's the lightest blue. Something about it, it just sings. It's so bright. So at its darkest, it's kind of like the lightest hue of uh, Compeki, but it gets this really vibrant, beautiful, light sky blue color, kind of greenish, actually, kind of like a phalo, uh, phalo blue. Uh, when it's at its lightest and it very easily gets to its lightest like I don't know why the ink just like all the inks feel different on the pen and lay down differently on the paper this one's just so smooth and lasts in the pen nib for a while like before I have to dip again so I'm just doing um, a self-portrait with some photo reference um but also throwing some imaginative elements in there. Still using the Brasa Blue Pumpkin Nib, which was my favorite that I got, I think. I also got a Brasa 76 Rose Calligraphy Pen Nib, and I know those are really popular, but I just haven't found my swing with it yet. Hair is probably my favorite thing to draw most of the time. <laughs> Um, I just really like getting lost in the way it can tangle together and I just love drawing like wiggly wavy lines and setting up little challenges for myself like trying to figure out where the strand is going to go and how long I can take it and how complex I can make it while still making sense so. I just love getting lost in drawing hair. And here I wanted to practice and demonstrate how fun these nibs can be with writing and calligraphy, which I'm also pretty passionate about. I love drawing words. I love writing um and I love combining that with my art I had a lot of fun with these drawings um I'm a little bit rusty at using the nibs the dip pens but I really really enjoy using them I usually use brushes for my for my work brush pens and such but yeah this is really fun feels different feels good 
anyways thank you so much for watching and i really want to do more of these videos so let me know what you like what you didn't like if you liked it maybe consider subscribing and i'll be uploading some more videos soon so thanks for watching and chilling with me all right peace out